Hello friend, welcome to Engineer. Today we see the analysis of beam by using preliminary stiffness method. So the question is like this, that is the span AB, BC and CD and the loading condition is given as shown in this figure. So let us start. How the preliminary stiffness method is applied on this beam uh, for getting the movement of the span. Okay, let us start. First of all, we have to think that in this beam, which span is under equilibrium condition. So, here span CD is statically determinant structure. Here span CD is statically determinant that is only the point load, inclined point load is acting at D. Hence, we are directly able to find out the reactions at C. So, if you resolve this, we calculate the vertical reaction at C is 80 sin 40. 80 sin 40 means the vertical reaction as the uh, 40 angle is made with horizontal. That's why 80 sin 40. So, we get 51.423 kN. The AD cos 40 horizontal reaction acting leftward. Hence, AD cos 40 is 61.284 kN. And the movement just because of due to point load that is 80 sin 40 which is acting vertical that 80 sin 40 into 2 we get the movement 102.842 at C so this question is modified as this type that is 100 kN acting at E this is the 50 kN per meter from B to F and this forces at C as the CD is statically determinant, first of all we have to convert, we have to modify this question in this and after that we have to apply our step for solving the preliminary stiffness method. So this is our new diagram and we are now solving our question by using this diagram. So our first step was, first of all we have to consider the nodal point. Here I will take A, B, C as three nodal points. So for your convenience, I just put it here. So here, A, B, C as nodal point and our first step. Now moving towards our step for calculation of uh, movements by using preliminary stiffness method. So our first step was the degree of freedom. Here we have to calculate the degree of freedom neglecting this axial deformation as the deflection at C means theta A is 0 because this is the fixed support so theta b is the degree of freedom here and theta c here degree of freedom yeah. so in this question only two degree of freedom neglecting axial deformation so d equals to my matrix is d equals to theta b minus theta c i represent theta b as d1 and theta c as d2 so considering the clockwise movement is positive here, here I make sign convention that is clockwise movement here clockwise movement as positive and here also the clockwise movement is positive now moving towards our second step that is the stiffness matrix here we have to calculate the stiffness of each joint considering the unit rotation at the point that is D1 so stiffness here we calculate apply D1 D1 means theta B the deflection at B equals to 1 in release resistance structure. This is the release resistance structure. Here I consider that all the joints are fixed. And this, and the, this theta B means the movement at B is considered at unity. That is 1. So we make sign convention that clockwise sign as positive. Hence it is deflect like this. And only unit deflection is happens at D. So that's why this diagram. And S11 is nothing but the movement at A considering the unit deflection at B. It is movement at B and S21 is the movement at C. So we know that S11 as I give the formula sheet in my last video that is how to calculate this stiffnesses at the joint when the movement is given. That is this 4E by L at S11 is nothing but the 4E by L and S11 double dash for this span is 4 EA but here EA is 2 EA that's why 4 in bracket 2 EA by L L is nothing but 3 plus 3 total is 6 
सो वी गेट टोटल एस वन वन इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट वन थ्री थ्री ई है ना एस टू टू एस टू टू इज नथिंग बट दैट ट्वाइस टू ई है एल एज फ्रॉम आवर लास्ट वीडियो और फ्रॉम आवर फॉर्मूला शीट बट हियर ई है इज गिवन एस टू ई है दैट्स वाइट टू इन ब्रैकेट टू ई है बाई एल एल इज सिक्स सो वी गेट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन ई है सो वी कंप्लीटेड आवर फर्स्ट नाउ मूविंग अप्लाय डी टू एज वी हैव टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम डी टू मीन्स द यूनिट डिफ्लेक्शन एट सी इज वन इन रिलीज डिस्टेंस स्ट्रक्चर सो स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक दिस दैट इज ओनली द डी वन इक्व डी वन हियर इज वन सो दिस बीम इज डिफ्लेक्ट लाइक दिस सो हियर एस वन टू इज नथिंग बट द मूवमेंट एट बी एंड एस टू टू इज नथिंग बट द मूवमेंट एट सी सो एस टू टू इज टू इन ब्रैकेट टू ई आई बाई एल विच वी गेट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन ई आई एंड दिस इज एस टू टू विच इज फोर इन ब्रैकेट टू ई आई बाई एल विच इज वन गेट वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री टू सो नाउ मूविंग टूअर्ड्स अदर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस रिफ्लेक्स मैट्रिक्स हैज वी आर कैलकुलेटेड ई आई एस कॉमन एंड वी मज इन दिस मैट्रिक्स हेयर दैट इज टू पॉइंट वन थ्री थ्री and point six six n or we calculated here that is s one one and s two one and here s one two and s two two just we represent this value in this matrix form so for our convenience in uh, letters steps we here find out the s inverse the inverse of this matrix so inverse of this matrix is nothing but the we get one by e a in bracket point five five six माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट सेवन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट सेवन पॉइंट एट एट नाइन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द इनवर्स ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स दैट इज द इनवर्स ऑफ चिकनेस मैट्रिक्स नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अवर थर्ड स्टेप दैट इज द लोड मैट्रिक्स हेयर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट आर माइनस आर एफ मैट्रिक्स सो आर मैट्रिक्स इज नथिंग बट द अप्लाइड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट बी हेयर वी कंसिडर द मूवमेंट हेयर कंसिडर मूवमेंट दैट्स वाई हेयर द अप्लाइड लोड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम As we know, R is nothing but the applied load with respect to degree of freedom. So at B, so at B, no any moment is applied. Hence, here I take zero. And in at C, the moment of one zero two point eight four six is applied. That's why I take here one zero two point eight four six. Now here we have to calculate the R F. R F is nothing but the fixed moment. और द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट कैलकुलेशन सो आर एफ वन डैश इज पी ए बी स्क्वेयर बाय एल स्क्वेयर एज वी नो इज इज कैलकुलेटिंग फॉर द फिक्स मूवमेंट पी ए बी स्क्वेयर बाय एल स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू सिक्स टेन किलोमीटर मीटर एंड आर एफ वन डबल डैश दैट इज थिस वन सो दिस इज द फिक्स मूवमेंट क्रिएटेड डू टू दिस डी एल विच इज स्पैनिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री सो it is the formula that is it is spanning from 0 to 3 so rf1 double dash we get minus 103.125 kN as also f12 so total f sorry rf1 is total of this two that is 16 minus 103.125 we get minus 87.125 and rf2 is same as this 50 but Thirty-six, spanning from zero to three. Six minus x. Here it is. Here it is. Six minus x into x into dx. So it is forty-six point eight four seven. So this is RF matrix. That is what we value calculated here minus eighty seven point one two five and forty-six point eight seven five. We are just represent here. Here, what we calculate? We have to calculate R minus R F matrix. R value is this, and R F value is this. So R minus R F. So we get this matrix that is eighty seven point one two five and fifty five point nine nine seven one. So this is our R minus R F matrix. Now moving towards our fourth step, that is the equilibrium equations. We know that stiffness into deflection. So we get the low matrix. So it it is it is the equilibrium equations. so for our convenience we have to calculate the deflection at the uh, point b and c so we just move this stiffness matrix here 
so it's get inversed and multiplied with the r minus load matrix so here 1 by ea that's why we calculated the inverse here just for convenience of our calculation so by multiplying these two matrix this s inverse and r minus rf matrix we get 1 by ea in bracket 32.882 and now uh, 25.537 so this is this is our d matrix that is that is what this is degree of freedom matrix we are we here calculate theta b and theta c so now we move towards our final step that is the peaks moment so here we have to calculate mf sorry mab mba mbc and mcd so here we calculated the whole thing so so this is what is m a b m a is nothing with the minus p a b square by l square so it is our formula for calculating the fixed end moment plus 2 e i by l in bracket so it is slope deflection method that is 2 e i by l in bracket twice of theta a plus theta b as the theta a so here 0 just because of due to the here the fix up fix end fix up o, that's why the theta a is 0 and the theta b is calculated what we calculated from here is theta b it is 32.882 that's why we get this whole term so while solving this in our KLC we get minus 50.843 kilonewton as the moment from A to B. So similar procedure used for the remaining um, moment calculation from moment from B to A is P as here we just using the formula and by putting formula and putting the values of that term we directly get the values here moment so here p a b square by l square so it is our formula for calculating the fixed end moment and this is the slope deflection method that is 2 e i by l in bracket twice of here twice of theta b plus theta c we know that twice we know theta b calculated 32.882 plus theta a theta is 0 that's why i am not, um, not considering this uh, theta a terms here so directly we putting this value in kelsey we get the 42.306 similarly for the movement from b to c and movement from c to d so we get this value from movement from b to c is minus 42.258 kilometer and the movement from c to b is 102.846 meter so by, the, by using this method we also able to calculate the support reaction so what is here support reaction b c also we are able to calculate the support reaction by using this term if we find out the movement then it is very easy for us to calculate the support reaction uh, thank you guys